what's up you guys good morning it is 7 30 in the morning monday morning and guess what i am out on my walk normally the only thing i do is talk to my mom on the phone as i walk I'm talking to my mom on the phone it is the best distraction ever I'm telling you, like the best distraction because y'all see I got headphones. Them shits don't even distract me. I'll be just like, oh, can't wait to get back home. Oh, two more blocks. Oh, another mile and a half and I'll be back home. Like that's, I still be like that with the music. My son is like, listen to music. It'll help you. No, it does not help me, but talking to my mom on the phone it does and I really hope that they don't run me over with their car and see me because I would really hate to get ran over early in the morning on a Monday that's another problem people out here do not know how to drive they don't pay attention they're always in a rush and they just don't pay attention but anyway so talking to my mom helps me um, it distracts me from my walk and before I know it I'm back home and it gives me the opportunity to call her every day. And I love to call her every day. So, being that she is three hours difference, I go to book for a walk, she be up already. You know? Some days, not always. Not always on every day. You know, because I be out of the house at by like 6.10. It um, be 9 o'clock there, so she be sometimes sleeping. But, um, like... Some days she don't be awoke, but some days she do. Now, I called her yesterday, which was Easter. And the walk was later in the day. Not later, but it was at, well, it was 7.30. So, hey. And today it's 7.30. Because there's no school today for the kids. So, I don't have to be the Uber bus driver. Or the Lyft bus driver. Or whatever today. I thought that I would take you guys with me. We're not vlogging. We about to do a real talk outside. Listen, I be trying to multitask always. So y'all can hear the different sounds. Y'all hear them birds. I know y'all hear them birds. Y'all hear them birds? They sound so pretty early in the morning. And they ain't even no sun, so I'm going to take these sunglasses off. Came prepared. I got two batteries with me. My vlogging camera, both my phones, water, fanny pack, fanny pack, okay, water, headphones, not that I need them because I'm not going to listen to the music, and both phones. We're going to do this real talk. First, I'm going to sit down. I'm going to sit down on a bench and read the real talk to you guys so that way the movement, you know, don't distract anybody doesn't distract anybody and then once I'm finished reading it you guys I'll get back up and start walking but if you guys have a real talk that you would like for me to talk about whether I'm on a walk or whether I am sitting in my house chilling go ahead and send me an email to muffins April's real talk at gmail.com please put in the subject line real talk if you'd like for me to change your name in the email Go ahead and let me know, or you can change it on your own. If you don't change it, I'm going to change it anyway. Um, and just be aware that these are, we're not professionals. This is just our opinions. Everybody's been through shit in life. So, you know what I'm saying? Everybody. So this is the little area where I'm about to sit down and read this real talk to you guys. And continue on our journey. Whew. Waste killer is killing a bitch, okay? This is cool, like, in the morning. I hope don't nobody come out here and be like, you're behind my house, like, and your house is on the walk path, too, behind the walk path. So, you can't get mad. Huh? 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 What? Damn. 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 Real talk. What would you do in their shoes? I titled this. 
Hi, eight born friends. I don't know how I'm even writing this because I can't believe any of this shit. I feel embarrassed even writing this. I feel like crap and so many other things. This doesn't even feel like it's real. I want to wake up from this nightmare and go on with my life. So you can call me Simone and my husband you can call Mike. I have been married to this man for over 25 years and we have kids together. Mike got a new Mike got a new job and it's an hour away from where we live. He started coming home later. Wait, wait, what is he doing? He started coming home later and smelling like all types of different colognes. I only noticed cuz he doesn't wear cologne like that unless it's a special occasion due to the work he does which is outdoors. I started noticing this amongst other changes like not wanting to touch or caress me or just be loving like he used to be. This shit was going on for a while and I wasn't saying anything because I didn't want to feel like I was going crazy. So time goes by, no sex, no love. After a while, I started saying something about it. He finally broke down and said he was seeing someone who he really loves and wants to be with. Basically, he wants to leave me and our teenage kids for someone else. He wouldn't tell me who it was until I started searching around and saw in his phone some weird pics of a man. A lot of pictures from the same man of himself. Well, I put two and two together and confronted him, and this son of a bitch is cheating on me with another man. Do you know how I feel? I am so hurt. I am so embarrassed. What is my family and friends going to think? I'm going to be the laughing stock of the family. I don't know what to do or how to react any further because my, oh, I don't know what to do or how to react any further because my first reactions were not great. I was removed from his job by security when I showed up and confronted him about the cheating. I didn't say it was with another man, but I let it, know, I let it be known at his job that he had cheated on me just didn't say it was with another man. I would have been way too embarrassed. I love that man and want my marriage, but I don't think I can come back from this. Looking for some advice on how you would handle this or how any of you guys will handle this. Thank you, Simone. Hope you guys can hear me. And cause I was looking around all strange. I kept hearing like some noises in the bushes, but these bushes is like, you know, part of a person's backyard. Cause like, see, this is where I was sitting at. I was sitting over there on that bench back there. But you know, this is behind. This is like the walk path, see? This is the walk path. And part of the walk path is, you know, behind people's houses. Like, you know, that's their backyards. So, but it's a walk path. If you live in Garden Lakes, you can walk here. Um, so, I kept hearing like some movement in the bushes. <clears throat> and I wasn't sure what it was. I'm like, is that a bird or an animal? Let me get the fuck out of here. But it was a person. They was cutting down the oranges because some people have orange trees in their backyard. Some people have lemon trees. I don't have nothing but fucking weeds. Um, why do I always get so unlucky? Like, look at these people's house right here. It's it's full with, like, bushes and stuff, which is nice. Like, I like that. But, yeah, they was in the backyard, um, probably trimming the oranges. Or I don't think they was eating them. I would hope not because them oranges are not good. I've had one before, and they are not good. There's lemons. There's lemon trees. Um, the lemons look like... They're the size of freaking grapefruit. And then there's the grapefruit tree, which that tastes good. I've had that. Um, but other than that, I would not I would not eat those oranges at all. So um, as you guys see, and there's people walking their dogs too. So if y'all see me say good morning, then y'all know. Moan and Mike have been together for 25 years. They have teenage children. Not really sure how many. She didn't say. Because all she said was he was leaving her for another man. She found out that Mike was cheating on her. Mike got a new job an hour away from home. He started coming home smelling like different types of colognes. And she know he does not wear any because of the different type of work he does. The type of work he does, which is outdoors. So, I mean, I guess I wouldn't wear cologne either if I'm outdoors. However, she started noticing the change, like, no lovey-dovey. She didn't say no. She didn't say lovey-dovey, but I'm saying it because that's what it is. So, 
she didn't see any like love she didn't see any affection you know lovey-dovey whatever so that's what she didn't see so she started noticing this she said at first she didn't say anything about it and then she finally did say something but she also went through his phone she went through his phone and when she went through his phone she started seeing pictures of the same man over and over again good morning she started seeing pictures of the same man now i don't know like if she's seen it in his text messages or like she said she started seeing pictures of the same man from the same man so maybe it was in his text messages and of the same man so maybe it was in his text messages and maybe in his photos because she did stress seeing pictures of the same man same man so probably was both that's when she realized he was leaving mike was leaving her for another woman i mean excuse me for another man that's you know it's i would like to say i wouldn't like to be reading this at all basically but you know she feels embarrassed she feels like she's about to be the laughing stock of the family she just feel really embarrassed and don't know how to come back from this and she said that she's already been removed from his job by security because she went up there and embarrassed him basically and let it be known that he was cheating on her but not with a man she probably didn't want to be that embarrassing cheating is cheating i don't give a fuck who you are who you done cheated with cheating is cheating It's dead wrong all the way around the board is wrong we get it everybody make a mistake everybody make a mistake but let's not use that mistake card for an excuse because that's two different things a mistake and excuse is two different things so let's not use that mistake card as an excuse oh it's hot these headphones on my neck will make me hot as hell um and they nice ones too they beats but um yeah let's not use the excuse card as i mean the mistake card as an excuse because that's what that's what a lot of people like to use that shit as oh well it was a mistake everybody makes a mistake granted we all do but some mistakes can be avoided some mistakes could definitely be avoided you know what the fuck you're doing you can't just fall up in some pussy you can't you can't you can't just fall down and your legs open and a dick slip up in you i'm just saying <laughs> that don't happen you just can't be eating rice or spaghetti and a dick pop in your mouth Boop! that's not about to happen those are not mistakes those are planned events okay now i'd be granted if i fall and slip and my legs open up and a dick fall in me i'm not gonna be happy about that I, i'm not gonna be happy about that if, especially if it was a mistake I'm not gonna be happy about that especially if it's the wrong dick you know little just like I'm, I'm just I'm just not gonna be happy about that okay so there are mistakes that I have had in my life that I just don't be happy about either so let's not use that everybody makes a mistake card as an excuse for cheating because you know what the fuck you're doing you know you being sneaky there's a lot to cheat in so it's not a mistake because you got to be conniving you got to basically you got to set the tone you know what i'm saying like you gotta lie you definitely gotta lie because your, your girl and your man gonna be like well where are you going oh i'm gonna just go shopping with the girls meanwhile you over there fucking the next dude so you gotta lie you gotta be sneaky and there's a whole lot of other shit that come with it so that's a planned event i don't give a shit what nobody say let's just not use that as an excuse for her to find out that her husband of 25 years is cheating on her with another man i don't know like i would be so hurt like i would i would be hurt all the way around man woman just because you cheated on me but dang if you cheated on me with a man I would be so devastated like I would be devastated because I will honestly feel like and I'm gonna just let y'all look at the side y'all don't even have to see my face okay because I'm all out of breath but um I will honestly feel like you were lying to me the whole time you know what I'm saying you were lying to me the whole time you was being conniving you was being sneaky you was being devilish you was being childish 
you just was being ratchet, you was being trifling, you was being, you know, what's another word, manipulating. I would feel like so many different things, especially if you cheated on me with the same sex, like, because I would feel like, oh, so all of a sudden, because there's no all of a sudden, you can't just wake up tomorrow and say, you know what, I like dick. I want some dick tonight. You can't just wake up tomorrow and feel that way. Or a girl waking up talking about, oh, I want some pussy today. Fuck the dick. You can't, man, please. You can't wake up the next day and say that. I don't give a fuck who you are, straight or not. You don't wake up tomorrow after you've been married with somebody for 25 years and be like, oh, I'd rather have dick tonight than steak and pussy. Like, come on, man. Who, who, who are you trying to kid? You know what I'm saying? Who, who are you really trying to get? So I would feel like the person was conniving to me and just shysty and manipulating and all kind of stuff I would feel just because you've been sneaky for maybe 25 plus years. How I know it wasn't 25 plus years? It could be 10 years. Who knows how long he been? First of all, she didn't even say how long he was cheating on her. He just got a new job. A year ago but that don't mean he just started cheating on her she don't she didn't say that she probably don't even know maybe if she go through the phone some more or maybe she don't have the opportunity to go through the phone anymore but maybe if she was to like look at the picture dates of when they were sent to her then she would be able to see how long this been going on maybe she did that she didn't say that but either way They've been married for 25 plus years, so how long has he been? I don't know if he's gay. I don't know if he's bisexual. But all I know is he's been taking dick and pussy, and that's that. And you know what? That's kind of not, like, I don't care what your sexual preference is, but you know what? You should be honest to people that you come across in your lifetime and in your lifestyle, especially someone that you, you know, committed yourself to. You have vows with them. You have children with them. That's the person that you should be the most honest with. Like, I'm just saying, if you marry somebody, you should be really honest with them. Like, straight up. Just be honest. And even if you ain't married to the person, but you're in a long-term relationship with them, be honest. Like, stop lying about shit. Don't be sneaky. You know, that's what I don't like about men, women, whatever. You be on some sneaky shit. Be planning shit behind a person's back. And then when, when you get caught, you want to um, you want to cop a, a plea or whatever, or act like the victim and shit like that. Like, that's the shit that I just don't like. And I don't give a fuck who you are, okay? That'll go for my situation too. Sneaky shit. Like, you don't just up and disappear. Oh, well, I just decided I want to stay. Like, come on, man. That's the shit you already have planned. So don't even try me. But to tell somebody that, to find out that somebody that you've been with for 25 years is cheating on you is a hurtful ass thing. Cause you know why? You put your trust in them and you probably feel like they are your best friend, your numero uno, your ace boon coon, your bestie, like, you know what I'm saying? Like all of that shit. And then to find out that they've been so deceitful behind your back, that right there will fuck a person up. But then to find out that, okay, this nigga cheated, but then to find out that you've been overly deceitful, like that shit really, really hurt. Like, so... You don't wake up tomorrow and be like, oh, yeah, I want some dick tonight. Yeah, yeah, dick tonight. We're not doing that. You already had that. You already had that in you. And, like, I don't really care what your sexual orientation is because I love everybody. Straight people, um, unstraight people. I, I just don't know all the letters, okay? So I just say people. We all people, regardless. At the end of the day, we all people. I don't care if you woke up with a dick and then you decided you want a pussy. As long as you're a good person and you're not no liar, deceitful ass person, then you're a person. So I don't really care what you are. But I just don't like people that lie and be deceitful. That don't make you a person. You inhumane when you act like that. Like you don't think about the other person's feelings. Like that person is just as human as you. You don't think about their feelings. You don't think about how they're going to feel. Like so to me, that's just like deceitful and stuff good morning good morning that's just like really deceitful and stuff so you know but there are people like that 
in all type of sexual preferences, okay? Straight, unstraight, gay, whatever. They, they, we all, everybody's undeceitful. It's deceitful, but that's not cool. Y'all know what I'm saying. It don't matter what your race is. It don't matter what your gender is. They're deceitful people, and I just don't think that's right. And I just feel like he knew he wasn't straight like that way before 25 years. So for him to do that to her is wrong. Good morning, beautiful dog. Oh, my God. Oh. She thinks so. She is. Yeah. She's a beauty. <laughs> um, such a pretty dog. Uh, you guys know I love dogs, okay? So for him to just like start cheating on her, I don't think it's been a year, even though she might feel like it's been a year because I'm only saying she might feel like it's been a year because she included that. She said it's been a year. He's got a new job a year ago, and this is when these changes have started. No, sweetheart, they might have been started. He just ain't, you know like let loose you know how sometimes when people start cheating or they try to keep themselves um like in the hidden box or whatever you know what i'm saying like you know you, you don't want to be known that i'm cheating you don't want to be known you cheating you know what i'm saying so you try to conceal all the evidence you know for a while you like extra careful at making sure you don't got no lipstick on your collar or no cum in your panties i don't know shit like that you, you be extra careful with it and then after a while people start slipping up so i'm just saying that's probably when she started noticing the different sense of cologne and stuff like that that's probably when he started slipping up you know what i'm saying you, you get it right okay that's probably when he started slipping up when she started noticing he was probably i guarantee you I guarantee you Mike Ass, Mike Ass was extra careful in the beginning of the cheating relationship. I'm telling you, I, I guarantee you, because everybody is. You, you know why? He first, he got to meet up with the dude. He ain't going to be all lovey-dovey and, well, you know what? I don't know. He might just be, but I was trying to give him the benefit of the doubt. Like, he got to get to know the guy before he get cologne smells all over him. I, ha I was trying to give him the benefit of the doubt. Excuse me for the noise ones for a second, because somebody's driving through with their little tractor trailer thing. Yes, he is the maintenance, one of the maintenance landscapers, keepers. They had to make sure there's no garbage on the walk path. And y'all see I'm just walking. And here's like another part of it. Okay, some people have boats on the thing. And I think I'm going to go over here real quick and sit down because there's some benches in the gazebo. <clears throat> Yesterday I seen a brand new baby geese, six of them with their mother and father. Well, I don't know if it was their mother and father, but... The one act like that he was the father because he was looking at me like, bitch, if you come any closer to these geese, I'm a fucking be I'm going to bite you. I was, I stood my distance like, because I didn't want to get bit. But anyway, um, what I was saying is he was probably extra careful in the beginning of his, you know, cheating relationship. So that way he didn't get caught. He didn't want to get caught. If he wanted to get caught, you know what I'm saying? He would have said something. He would have been like, look, I'm leaving you. And I'm leaving you for another man, bitch. What? He didn't do that. So he started slipping up. That's why I feel like it's been more than a year. That's exactly why I feel like it's been way more than a year. But what I do know is this. I would feel really devastated, especially if he was cheating on me with another man, only because this has been in your system. that You've been feeling this way for more than a year. God knows how long you've been feeling this way. It could have been 10 years. But the whole fact is that you kept something from me for the long term. It don't matter if it was a few months, it's a long time. For you to keep something from another person that you supposedly love and trust, that's just wrong. And something so, something like that, I just think like it's definitely not right because that type of situation, you would really feel like that person was being deceitful and conniving to you, you know, really deceitful and conniving. And um, there isn't really no coming back from that, Simone, like to be honest with you. And I'm not trying to give you like no false hope. And I'm not trying to say, girl, fuck it. I wouldn't, that's not me. I wouldn't do that. But I'm gonna just say this, that I honestly don't feel like there's any coming back from it. Like, good morning. Well, good morning. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning. Um, <laughs> I, I, me personally, if somebody was cheating on me, you gotta go. I'm not about to be bothered with none of that shit. I don't give a fuck who you are. I'm not being bothered with the shit. But if I was to find out that I was with somebody and they cheated on me with another man, girl, you know what? I wouldn't even say I would feel embarrassed. 
Because I wouldn't feel embarrassed. What do you need to feel embarrassed for? First of all, he's the sneaky one. He's the one who's going to feel embarrassed, not you. You know, if that's your family and your friends, then they're going to be supportive. <laughs> like, if you know what? If that was my family, I think they'd probably be ready to jump the nigga. I'm just saying. If that was my family, they'd be ready to jump his ass. And talk all type of shit to him. There's no need for you to feel embarrassed because you didn't know. How do you feel embarrassed? There's no way to feel embarrassed. And what you should feel is happy. Happy you didn't wait too long. Happy you don't got no disease. You know what I'm saying? Or happy you didn't catch nothing. And happy that Mike didn't, you know, do it any worse. Like, like I don't really know what type of ways there are to be any worse to somebody than cheating. But I do know this, like, it's wrong regardless of the caliber. But I just feel like this. There is no coming back from this. Best thing to do is I wouldn't even let him to. I would tell the kids myself, but here's the kid, the thing. Those are teenage kids. And you know how some teenagers be like real, like rowdy and rambunctious. Some teenage kids will kick your ass. Okay, so let's not hope that Simone has kids like that. But then again, even a child or a teenager who don't go around kicking ass, they might start kicking ass because their parents is, you know, cheating on one another. I don't know, some kids be feeling so different about shit. So, my hand is starting to hurt. You know, me, I tell the kids myself. I tell the teenagers myself, that be me. You know, because for him to tell the teenagers that he's he's been, yeah, that's a lot. I've been cheating on your mother with another man. That's two things. When you when you tell somebody you're cheating on them, you just automatically assume it's the opposite sex, like of them. You know, the same sex of you, right? So that's just one that's a that's that's the bad news right there. I've been cheating on you. That's a heartbreaker. That's just one. But then he gotta come with another. I've been cheating on your mom with another man. And I'm leaving her. You that's an ass kicking right there. Like, you know what? If you was to say that about my mother. Man, you're going to get fucked up on spot. I don't care. And I know my kids. They would have fucked somebody up for shit like that. But I'm not saying for them to do that. Let's just hope they don't. Because you know what? At the end of the day, this man ain't worth it. Mike ain't worth it. You know why? I don't care if that's their father. If that's your husband. I don't really care. You know why I don't feel like he's worth it? Because what you did was sneaky. Manipulative. Lying. Conniving distasteful, hateful, amongst other things, okay? So, you don't get no pass. You don't get no pass. What I would do is, I would gather all of my all of my things, not, not my belongings, because Mike ass will have to go. Mike ass will have to get the fuck out. I don't care if you bought the house, Mike. You need to leave, because you're the one who decided to leave in the first place. Leave the marriage, leave the family for another man. So, therefore, you need to take your drawers and all your other little little manly shit and go move in with your boyfriend i'll pack his shit the fuck up that's what i would do i would pack his things up i'm just saying i would close any accounts that we share together meaning bank account cable account water bill account every account that we share together i'm closing it water water bill account electricity account bank account car insurance account cell phone account it don't even matter. If we share an account together, dude, I'm closing it just so I can have my own account. I don't want to share anything with you. I don't want us to have any ties together. I don't want you to try to run up the bill under my name. No, I'm getting rid of everything that we have together, including you and his shit would be put out. That's the, that's your next step. That's how you handle the next step. Fuck the embarrassment, okay? Fuck how you feel about being embarrassed because if anybody's gonna feel embarrassed, it's gonna be him. He's the one that needs to feel embarrassed and I would make sure of it. And then again, you know what? Karma is a motherfucker. You don't have to make sure that he's embarrassed because you know why? You've already done that. You've already went to his job and embarrassed him 
but you've also embarrassed yourself, Simone. And I'm going to tell you something. You don't have to embarrass yourself. You don't have to embarrass your friends or your family over nobody. Let them do that because he's already doing a really good job of being deceitful. And that right there is an embarrassment, being a liar, you know. So don't feel embarrassed about your family. You hear the ducks? Don't feel embarrassed about your family. Feel embarrassed about nothing. Like, you, there's no need for you to feel embarrassed, girl. He should feel that. You think that your family's gonna gang up on you? No, they're gonna have words for him, regardless if they rowdy or not. Who wouldn't say something about a situation like that? Like, wait, you have been cheating on my daughter with another man and y'all been married for 25 years? Man, if that was my kid, you know me, I'd be all in the business, all right? And I would feel pissed off because not only did you lie to my daughter and y'all kids, but you sat there and lied in everybody's fucking face. People don't like shit like that. People don't like liars. People don't like manipulators, thieves, you know what I'm saying? And I would hate to feel like this about Mike, Simone, and y'all, but I would hate to feel like all this time he knew he was on a DL, but he still decided to marry her and have children with her so that way people wouldn't talk about him. You know what I'm saying? Because you know, like, in certain situations, people know you gay, but you try to cover it up and you don't want anyone to know. So you lie, you try to get a girlfriend, or you try to be in a relationship just so you can cover it up. You know what I'm saying? Mask it. And I hope, like, I really hope, like, that wasn't the situation. I hope he didn't do that to her. Like, lie and say, like, you know what I'm saying? Because that right there, 25 years of lies is a hurtful thing. Like, it's already bad to lie to somebody, but for 25 years. And I just really feel like, honestly, like, if he didn't feel like this way for 25 years about other men, sometime in his life, sometime in his life, he started feeling that way about men. It don't have to be a year ago, because e even if it was a year ago, when he started feeling that way about the same sex, he still was pondering the thought. You know what I'm saying? You can't just think of something all of a sudden and do it. You was pondering the thought. So we don't know how long that was going on. And to me, that's just another sign of being deceitful. Keeping secrets, keeping hidden agendas. I hate to see a liar, and I hate when people do shit behind another person's back that they know that person is going to be traumatized from, hurt from. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't like shit like that. I'm not saying I, I haven't done things to people, but I damn sure don't plan shit to, to person. I don't plan to be sneaky. I don't plan to, like, do shit to make a person feel hurt. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, people know what they doing when they, when they doing shit. Like, don't let nobody fool you. Like, I don't know the right words to put it, but I'm gonna just say this. When people be doing shit, they know. They know what the fuck they be doing. And I hate when people be crying victim, like, oh, well, I did it because I don't feel appreciated. Like, you lying son of a bitch. Okay? Don't even. Don't even. You know, so. Me, she's right. Simone is right. There is no coming back from this. Because what are you going to do? Go to marriage counseling and then you're going to hope he don't like dick no more. And then y'all going to be a happy family? Nah, I don't work like that. And I don't know if he like both men and women. But... When you marry, you're only supposed to like the person you with. I mean, that's just common sense, right? You only like the person you with. Bottom line, whether you married another man or another woman, you ain't supposed to love, you ain't supposed to be having no eyes for nobody else. But then when you cheating, it's one thing. But then you, ch listen, Mike had a whole different lifestyle. That's point blank period. This nigga had a whole different lifestyle. And you know what pisses me the fuck off? You had a whole different... That's like having a whole different family. You know what I'm saying? You got a whole different lifestyle, a whole different family, whatever. And then you come home, what's up, babe? Had a good day. Missing you like crazy. Here's some flowers, boo. Knowing damn well that you just came from fucking the next bitch or the next man. Like, or seeing your baby or your kids. And then you're gonna go home and put a whole different face on and lie. Like, that's the, that's the deceitful shit. That's evil. Right there, that shit is evil. And that shit that Mike did was fucking evil. I don't care. He had a whole different lifestyle. 
honey if you can't afford to get a divorce do yourself a divorce do do your own divorce i did my own divorce and it was only 365 dollars okay and it gives you instructions tells you what to do there isn't any coming back from this you're right but what i would do is this don't go out there embarrassing yourself over no man regardless of who he cheating you cheating on you with don't lower yourself for no fucking body. You know, I had to learn this the hard way. I'm not about to be embarrassing myself. And let me tell y'all, I might have said what I had to say about one particular person in my video in December about the relationship. I did, and that's what the fuck it was, and that's what the fuck is gonna be. I don't have nothing to hide. However, my shit, my mistakes, I will share them with people. So that way you know, don't, don't try to make the same mistake. Or just be mindful and look out for it. God put people in people's lives for a reason. It might be temporarily and it might be permanent. I know that my situation was definitely temp. <sighs> Trust me. You don't embarrass yourself. You don't allow nobody to make you, to have you put yourself in a situation where you look stupid and you look foolish. Because even though he was wrong, you went to his job and made a mockery of yourself and was removed by security. Everybody at his job is looking at him like he's stupid and he looking at they looking at you some type of way too. So don't allow someone to put you in a situation where y'all be looking all foolish. Like it's it's definitely not worth it. You're right, Simone. You definitely can't come back from this. And I don't mean that in any harsh way. Because I know you did say you want your marriage, but sweetheart, your marriage is over. Let's move forward and get the, the necessary things done that we need to get done. So that way, we don't be lacking nothing. You know what I'm saying? Open up different accounts for yourself. Close anything you have with him. Trust me, this is what you do. Get prepared, girl. Get prepared because his ass gonna be the one embarrassed. And then who's gonna be mad? He gonna be mad. He gonna be mad with you, I'm telling you. He gonna feel some type of way towards you because he probably gonna feel like you done turned the family against him. Nah, dude, you just been conniving and deceitful all these years. Don't nobody like liars. I know I don't like no motherfucking liars, okay? And I don't like deceit. And when I feel like you done did some deceitful shit to me I feel like that was your whole agenda the whole time and that you planned that shit the whole time that's how I be feeling if I find out that you've been deceitful to me I feel like you've been planning this the whole fucking time get yourself on the ball game and get your you know your business and priorities together because he's not leaving that man for you and he's leaving you for that man and that's okay let that nigga go ahead because in the end of the day he like this big. He don't even matter no more. A person like that, he don't even matter no more. Fuck that nigga. Okay? What's that song? Um, this is my shit too. Um, get your bag up. Girl, it's um oh my god, I can't sing. Oh yeah, I can't. It's my morning voice, y'all. <clears throat> but what is this song? I can't um uh shit. I don't wanna play it. But um <clears throat> I'ma play it in my ear real quick so y'all could <laughs> <laughs> like, 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 y'all really want to hear me sing that shit, right? I'm going to really sing this for you guys. Like, got it. That's the name of the song. Oh, no. Y'all know the song. No, no. I can't lie. I can tell you, Jaded, baby. Wipe your eyes. Don't let him see that he got the best of you. Girl, I'll take the rest. I, I can't sing, y'all. It's my morning voice. Oh, look, I got a question for you. Is he worth it? Real love, don't you think you deserve it? Cut him off, go and find your purpose. Say, hey, get you a nigga that's solid. Personally, I do more than support your dreams, baby. Get you a me. It's time to boss up. Fix your credit, girl. Get at it. Get your bag up. Hit that gym and get back fine. Go get that degree. Go, girl. Focus on me. Unlock potential that you didn't know you had. And fuck that nigga. Hey, come on. That's the song that I was talking about, y'all. Good morning. That's the song. You know what I'm talking about. Vito. Veto, baby, you got it. That's the jam. Okay, so play that shit. I'm telling you, my daughter sent me that song. Girl, I'll be bumping that shit from left to right. You see, I'm at, I ain't at the gym, but I'll be getting my glow on, get my sexy back, okay? Fuck that nigga, girl. Move on and get your shit together. 
Y'all let her know what y'all think. Her bitch is out of breath now. I'm almost back home. So, I will see y'all in the next Real Talk. I hope y'all can hear me real well. I love you all. Let me know what y'all think about this Real Talk. Did you guys like to come on a walk with me? I'll tell you what, my hand is hurting now. My hand, I got my camera on my selfie stick thing here. And normally I take my phone with me to the store and vlog. But you know what? People was walking right past me. They was looking, but I, I didn't even pay them no mind. And I think that's what I should start doing, just paying them no mind. However, I do need to get this camera fixed. Cause you can see like little, little dots of gleaming. Something is on the lens on my vlogging camera. So I'm gonna have to send this to get it fixed. <clears throat> so in the meantime, I'm gonna just use my other iPhone to vlog. But I love you guys. And I'll see y'all in our real talk next time. Bye.